Hi, my name is Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I teach the Divorcing Parent Education class about six times a month here in Memphis, Tennessee. If you're interested in signing up for that class, you can go to www.tnparentclass.com. One of the things that I recommend that you do with your children during our parenting class is have a game night. Now, if your kids are like mine, they probably love playing games like Fortnite and Pokemon Go and PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and all of those things. But the five games that we're going to talk about today are what I would call old school games. These old school games are very affordable. Most of the ones that I'm going to recommend are under $10, and we're going to go through five old school games that have been tried and tested by my kids. So let's get started. The first game I'd like to talk to you about is Connect Four. Connect Four is for two players. It's for ages six and up. And just like the name of the game says, you try to get four pieces of the game in a row, either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. This is definitely an old school game and most of you have played it, but it is a great game if you only have just you and one child who would like to play. As a reminder, this video is not sponsored in any way. I will put links in the description below to the games, all of which can be found on Amazon. This one is about $7.99 currently on Amazon. If you have a larger budget, or maybe you're having a big party or your kids just really love to play Connect Four, I have a second option for you. It's currently $144.99, so definitely not budget friendly, but there is a giant version of Connect Four. So if you are interested in that, again, link in the description below, but it's over three feet tall and it looks like it could potentially be a lot of fun. Unfortunately for my children, I am way too cheap to buy that. The next game that I would like to talk to you about is the Jenga Classic Game. Jenga is a tower building game. It's fun for the whole family. Again, ages six and up. You can play this game with multiple family members. I guess in theory, you could play it by yourself. Your kid can practice if they wanna do that, or you can practice if you are trying to learn how to beat them. It's about $10 on Amazon. The price kinda of goes up and down, so I hate to quote an exact price if you're looking later, but it's around $10 because I'm trying to keep all of these games around $10, but you pull a block out one at a time. There's about 54 blocks in the classic game. It takes strategy, skill, luck, and you win by being the last player to remove a block without causing the entire tower to crash down. Again, I'm sure you've played it, but the question is, how often are you having a game night with your kids and doing something that's not electronic devices and things like that? Keeping with our unique giant theme, there is also a giant version of this game. It's just under $70, so not as expensive as the Giant Connect 4, but this particular version on Amazon is under $70 and it stacks up to five feet tall. You may need a step ladder for that if you have a smaller child, but it does look like something that would be really fun. This next game is definitely only for the bravest of parents or people who do not mind getting sticky and dirty and making a mess. The pie in the face game starts out with you loading the arm of the game with some whipped cream. Make sure it's not shaving cream or it will burn your face. So you load it with whipped cream and you take turns putting your head in a mask. There's a spinner on the side and players take turns spinning the handle the number of times indicated on a spinner that comes with the game. And then without warning, randomly, someone will get a whipped cream hand in the face. Uh -oh. Oh. Jackson. Oh. 
It doesn't hurt, but it is messy. And I do recommend that you close your eyes. The game can be found again on Amazon. This one's a little bit more expensive. It's around $20. It's been out for a few years. It was a really hot game when it first came out. And there are some different iterations of the game now that are pie in the face cannon or pie in the face sky high and they're a little bit cheaper so if you want to try out this game it's definitely something that your kids would probably love to see you getting a pie in the face if you don't want a pie in your face but you don't mind getting a little messy there is a game called Don't Step In It. It's under $10 on Amazon. This happens to be the Unicorn Edition. And how the game works is you place poop piles on a floor mat. You spin the spinner, and then while you're blindfolded, you take the number of steps that it tells you, and you try not to step in this messy unicorn poop. Adults and kids usually enjoy playing this game. And again, if you don't mind getting sticky, messy, or dirty, and you like to show your kids a good time and that you're a good sport, you might want to pick up this relatively inexpensive game. The fifth game that I would like to recommend is a game called Blink. They do call this the world's fastest game. It is a card game. It's easy to take with you on an airplane, on a train, on vacation. It will definitely keep you and your child entertained. You will not believe how hard it is to play, but how easy the rules are. So I'll just briefly explain them to you. I've stuck a screenshot up here for you to look at, and it's just a matching game. So you will see that if someone puts down a blue card with three teardrops on it, any other card with teardrops can be placed on top of that or any other blue card can be placed on top of that or any other card with three shapes can be placed on top of that. And then whatever the card that is placed on the top is the new card and the matching starts all over again. You can play this game really quickly. You can play it in teams. You can play it as a tournament. It's under six bucks on Amazon, and it is definitely one of my kids' favorite games. Another thing I love about this game is that it's appropriate to play with younger kids or adults because you don't have to read. You don't have to memorize complex rules. It's just matching. I thought I would give you one final game. I'll call it a bonus game. And it is a game that can be played by yourself. So it's something that you can give your child to entertain themselves, maybe while you're cooking dinner or while you're getting out some of the other games. Or it's something that they can use in place of an electronic device or watching TV. And the name of this game is called double shutter shut the super box it's based on an old english pub game called shut the box and you can definitely get shut the box games on amazon but this particular game double shutter shut the super box is the one that my kids love the most and it's really fun it's a game for up to four players so you can play it by yourself you can play it cooperatively to encourage your kids or you and your child to do something together, or you can compete against each other. You roll the dice. It's a counting game. You add up the number of dots on the dice and then find the best combination of the numbered tiles at the top to flip down or to shut. And so you can develop strategies, you can figure out probabilities and use math. It's definitely an entertaining and enticing way to teach kids about addition. If you are interested in that game, I have linked it down below 
in the description. I really appreciate you staying to the end of the video and listening to my thoughts about all five of the games, including this extra bonus game called Shut the Super Box. Thank you for watching this video about five old school games that we recommend during the Tennessee Parent Education class. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time we upload more informative videos like these.